Adam, midweek comes round again. How are you shaping up for Halifax Town at the weekend? Um, obviously, reviewed the uh, the game from Saturday against Nuneaton. Um Still disappointed with it with the outcome. Um, I think first 30 minutes of the game we were, were very good. We created a number of opportunities. Uh, but we've got to take them chances and at the minute we're not taking our chances and, and giving away sloppy goals and I think that the biggest thing that we're, we're picking out is individual errors at the minute you know, is probably costing us so it's something we need to look at but um, we go into the week in a, in a positive frame of mind after, after reviewing the weekend and looking at putting a good performance in at Halifax. I think the, um, the, the form and the results at the minute are as expected. I think it's very up and down. I think we've probably had Six positive results, um, five negative results. Um, so very 50-50 split in terms of um, the output, and, and that's what that inconsistency is what you get with a um, a team that's lacking a little bit of leaf at the minute. So um, back to the training ground this week. We're we'll putting some um, some good preparation, some good work building into Halifax, and, and let's go and get some points. How difficult is it taking over mid-season because you obviously have to. Try and lift the spirits of the ones that are here, and, and try and improve results, and and take what's available of players from elsewhere, and try and find that blend. Is that the challenge that you faced? That's been the biggest challenge. I think when you you coming into a, a situation that already already has a certain mindset, um, it's it's very tough to change uh, part way through. I think that there's a lot of things that we're trying to do, which um, we're finding tough um, at this time of the season. And then obviously the players that you do get at that point of the season, they're either <clears throat> not playing at the previous club, um, haven't been playing and trying to get match fitness, um, or you're taking them from different levels. And I think that's what we found. I think we've got probably three or four of our um, bigger players that are, are catching up in terms of fitness and game time. And they're having to probably worry about themselves a little bit more um, than probably being as effective to the group as they, they would be if they were 100% fit. So. Um, it, it's very um, trying to put things together and, and get outcomes at the same time, which is uh, we're, we're going for a pre-season at the minute, and it's it, it's tough to do. But we we're taking the positives from it. There's like I say, we within the three games, we've up until half time on even on Saturday, we, we've put in probably three halves of um, of decent performances, and then we, we we've been uh, punished for our um, our errors that we're creating. I mean. It's even first off, we've got opportunities, and that little bit when things are going against that little bit of rubber, the greens not quite coming off for us, balls are dropping in um, half a yard the wrong side. Uh, we're having goals cleared off, the, efforts cleared off the line. Um, when things are going for you, these things go in, and it's a totally different ball game. I think if we score first, um, we'll go on to give someone um, a good hiding. It's just at the minute because we're not taking them opportunities. It, it's it affects belief, it affects confidence, but we, we're asking for men at the minute, we're asking for, for big characters to stand forward and um, and to go and prove how, how good they are as individuals and as a team. And you've not had an away game now since Tamworth at the end of January, so it'll be interesting perhaps to see how you perform on the road because you played pretty well again in that game, but it, it was chances once again that that weren't taken and that was obviously against a team like Halifax that they're up the top challenging for a playoff place. Yeah, I mean obviously Halifax are on a, a very good run themselves. Um but like we have done since since day one when I come in we're we're putting all the focus on us because we have to. I think it's a case of um going back to basics. I think we need to get back to the, the structural um organisation that we we shown a few weeks ago that, that was getting us results. Um but as much as the the result was disappointing on Saturday, we, we take the positives from it and the the plus points from it. I think if we um, if we can put all our plus points together that we've we've shown over um, the last few weeks, and we can we can cut out the individual errors, um, it, it it makes us a, a competitive team. And at the minute, both boxes it is what's costing us. We're not being ruthless at, at both ends. We're, we're creating a lot of opportunities. We're creating a lot of chances or half chances that we need to turn into chances. Um, and then we, at the other end, we show a little bit of naivety in terms of our uh, decision making. I think we, if we can start producing seven out of ten all around the pitch in terms of everything, um, we've got quality in there that can can make us a good team. So 
we need to iron out the mistakes and then at the other end we need to be a little bit more ruthless in our, um, our attacking approach. And Nuneaton showed on Saturday they came here on a relatively poor run, they rode their luck for half an hour or so but obviously came through it and, and shortened up a good win and there's no reason to say that couldn't be you on Saturday at the Shea. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we, we go into it and as much as we're disappointed from the result on Saturday, we know there's been a lot of good things. We, we went up against Darlington with a better team, we went up against Chorley and with a better team. Um, first 30, 35 minutes against the and there was only one team in it. Um, we, we've just got to, we've got to have that resilience that when we don't get our own way or things don't go our way, um, we stay strong through the, the tough patches in games because um, you're always going to have a, a tough period in the game and it's if you can come through that period, to be fair, like Nuneaton did show in that first half an hour, if you can come through that and then build, um, it gives you an opportunity to go on and win football matches. Um, so that's what we'll be looking to do. We'll, we'll be looking to um, cement some ideas into, into the group this week in terms of training. Um, but for me, it, it's about the, the players believing what, what they can uh, achieve and, and how they can perform because they've shown it. The, the showing periods that they can be a good team and they can be um, effective as individuals and once we get that consistency in that uh, take away the, the individual errors and there's a number of ways to do that um, it, it gets us back on track and like I say I think the overall picture is um, it is one of uh, taking steps um, getting getting to the summer and, and re-evaluating um, and I think the output at, is what I expected. It is a 50-50 a split in terms of uh, when you come into a team that's struggling, every point is a um, it is a massive bonus and I think four wins, two draws, um, five losses, it, it sums up where the, the, the club and the team is at the minute. So we need to rectify that in terms of the, the positive outcomes um, and we'll, we'll be working hard to do that. Are you going to be slightly hampered by injuries this week though? Because obviously you've got six or seven out anyway and now Jay and one or two others are struggling. Nine. Um, yeah, I, again, I said after the, the game on Saturday, I've never witnessed anything like it in terms of the, the amount of injuries we're getting, and it's not even as if it's uh, minors. The, the, the club, before I come, uh, when I have come, he's picked up some, some major injuries, which um, someone somewhere along the line has, has killed a black cat. So we need to find that person um, because it is as much as we can improve, there has been an element of bad luck in, in the season so far and I think the injuries is one of them elements, we, we, we lost another couple on Saturday which um, hampered us in the game on Saturday because the, the two lads we lost um, were influ influential players for us and then after the game we've, we've had another one that um, is going to be touch and go for Saturday so um, yeah, we'll, we'll regroup, we'll go again and we'll um, We'll work as hard as we can to, to get something Saturday.